Hey everybody, Dan here with Excel VBA is Fun. Today we have an exciting new game. That's right, I said game in Excel for Excel and by an Excel ninja. This game was created by our very own Scott Tyrell and he is very enthusiastic and very skilled in Excel. Scott has created a new card game that allows you to trump another person's card based on Excel functions. So it's a learning tool, it's kind of like a flashcard game, but it's also kind of like the game of war. So you dole out your first card and you see if that beats their first card, just like in the game of war. Each card has several different features based on whether that particular function has better accessibility or whether that one is easier to use or whether it has more utility or more options or applications so you can compete on different levels it's really cool and I'm going to show you a demo using the card game that he built in Excel since the decks are not ready yet so let's go ahead and dive in and check this out so this is a demo that Scott threw together for us so that we can see what it feels like in Excel and it's actually quite an impressive game even though it's not the actual physical card so we're gonna start a new game I'm gonna go ahead and say that we're gonna play this so in the Excel version that obviously in the printed version you're not gonna have these question marks you're gonna have the answer to how much power how difficult this function is to use or whatever so we're just kind of guessing we're just kind of playing around with this by the way if you want a copy of this workbook to play around with and get some really great ideas for how to create a nice little utility or, or game like this go ahead and click on the link we have in this video and you could download that so right now we're guessing which of these features is going to be the highest to try to trump the other person's card and the CPU's card is hidden in real life you may be able to see the other opponent's card so if I win then my I win their card and my card both get to go in the bottom of my deck if I lose of course it goes to the bottom of the computer's deck so let's say that the decimal to binary, let's say it has the highest in volatility. And I'm going to select that. It says it was a draw because they were both negative 10. Okay, so I was way off there. And there's my bank of cards. Now we have the XOR function. Returns a logical exclusive OR of all of the arguments. So that one sounds like it's probably got a lot of power, I'm going to guess. And I lost to the reduce function, which had way more power than me. Looks like the computer is kicking the living crap out of me. So now the computer is on a roll, selecting different features, volatility, flexibility, and absolutely destroying me right now. Now it's my turn. So the is text function. I mean, the is text function is pretty powerful. I don't know how flexible it is. It's really just a boolean. It's either true or false. So we'll go with, uh, we'll say that's kind of powerful. I don't know. It's not the greatest card to play here. Uh, yeah, so 19 for power and applications. Everything else was kind of garbage. And they had a frequency card, so they kicked the crap out of me again. Then they're selecting uh, flexibility. Uh, their lambda card was way more flexible than my tax card. Looks like I just have a really terrible hand here. Proper functions, yeah, some is going to beat the crap out of the proper function for volatility. Uh, well, no, that's a draw for volatility. They selected that, okay. And they're just they're just destroying me here. Now it's my turn. Okay, I a lambda function by call function. So let's see here. Now while a lot of the lambda functions are pretty difficult. I would say that they're also extremely powerful, so I'm going to vote for either power or uh, the utility or the applications for it. So we'll just say power. Uh, yeah, I won with uh, the power over the pi function. Not super powerful. So anyway, you get the idea. I'm going to keep playing a little bit, but uh, download this on the link on your screen here or in the video description. You're going to love this, and we'll let you know the second that the actual card game drops. So everybody give Scott a huge pat on the back give him a thumbs up for this video uh, write him a nice comment and thank him for giving you the Excel version of this game where you can take a look at this maybe you can get some great ideas some inspiration for your own game and b definitely check out the deck for his game whenever it is finally launched we'll let you know the second it is so you can buy up your very own deck 
play with your friends, play with your kids. Everybody needs to learn these Excel functions. And what better way to learn them with an interactive flashcard type game like this? <music>